Yeah, a group of Fort Zumwalt alumni are now taking action because they don't want to lose another friend at a young age. None of us want to go to any more funerals. After a recent suicide in the Fort Zumwalt School District, a group of former students thought it was time to take action. We started creating a list of people who have died in the Fort Zumwalt School District from suicide and overdose. And we came up with 79 names between 2002 and today. And that's an incomplete list, but having that number just really solidified how many people we've lost. A few weeks ago, an alum started a Facebook group, FZSD Find the Light. It now has more than 3,000 parents, teachers, and current and former students who are sharing stories of loved ones they've lost to suicide or overdoses. The group gave a list of problems and solutions to the district Monday. They want schools to have more crisis counselors and a mental health curriculum in elementary school, just to name a few. Bingham didn't know the resources available as a student and thinks many others don't either. The school district actually does have great resources for helping people find affordable counseling, but it's hard to find and they're not aware of it. So one of the easiest solutions that we can think of is if that material goes out every single semester. Fort Zumwalt Superintendent Bernard Dubray says the district has a lot of resources available and is willing to work with the group, but he doesn't think this problem is unique to Fort Zumwalt. And probably if they went to uh, just about any big school district, they'd find similar type statistics. Meanwhile, Bingham says just about everyone in the district knows someone who's died from suicide or overdose. We're just tired of seeing the same patterns repeating, and so we just want to make sure the resources we have are allocated correctly because academics aren't going to go anywhere unless mental health is sound as well. And the group is also hosting a vigil on September 12th to remember those that they've lost. You can find more information on that up on our website, fox2now.com. Live in O'Fallon tonight, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.